Hey y'all, Data Guy here. And today I have a video for you on maybe a little bit of a niche topic, but one of the most common annoying connection problems that I've run into in my career dealing with Airflow. Um, and that is connecting to an MS SQL database. Uh, this can be on-prem, this can be just running on your local machine, whatever. It is excruciating to try to connect to it um, just out of the box. If you're just trying to use like, you know, your Airflow connectors, for whatever reason, you need to install the ODBC drivers, you need to install uh, all these different packages on the actual scheduler um, and web server of Airflow for it to actually be able to run and connect to an MS SQL database. And not only that, you can't just use their default connection strings. You have to kind of ginger and template together your own little freakazoid connection. Um, and it's just a huge pain. Um, so in the interest of saving everyone some time um, <laughs> in their lives, and the fact that I want to have this video to send out to people next time they ask me about this, um, I'm going to make a quick video just running through how you can set up an environment uh, and write a DAG that will allow you to connect to a, an MS SQL database. Um, some of these things you'll change, you know, based on the version, but I think it's primarily you're going to be using 17 um, or 18 version the ODB. Um, and so the first thing you're going to want to do and you're going to need to do for it to start working is either if you're using an Astro um, Docker file, what you'll do is add all these commands in a, a command section here so they get installed um, on on Astro to start, spin up your local environment, run Airflow. If you're running Airflow your own way, uh, open source, self-hosted, wherever, um, what you'll need to do is uh, get into the actual container running Airflow um, so you can then run these this series of commands. Um, and I'll put a list of all these commands and a repo for this description below. But essentially what you're going to need to do is install apt, uh, install wget, install the upg2, um, update it all again. Um, then you're going to add a source list just so that you are able to call um, apt. Then you're going to install software properties. Um, then you are going to go as a pseudo user and actually install packages directly from the Microsoft URL. Um, so if you use the packages or just try to download directly from the website, it's not going to work. So you have to go uh, and directly reference the URL, install it from there, um, then go from this release list to get the MS SQL release. Um, or Debian version. Uh, then you're going to exit out of that state. You're going to update all those again using apt get, uh, accept the ULA, install um, MS ODBC equal 18. Make sure you put this in because um, it weirdly won't trigger this. So it won't like say, hey, can you read the ULA and accept it? You have to add this into your command when you're installing the SQL drivers. Um, again, just like a generally bonkers way of doing this by Microsoft. Um, then you'll need to do pip install pi ODBC um, so you can interact with the ODBC drivers Pythonically. Then install pip install uh, your MS SQL provider um, and then import MS SQL into um, your local environment. So that's just setting it all up. <laughs> um, so you'll have to add that, make sure those commands have been run um, on your local machine. And then when it comes to the actual DAG file, what we can do is go into DAG I wrote for it, um, called SQL test. And the only thing you'll actually need up here are just the uh, MS SQL operator and import pi ODBC here. Um, and then within your test SQL, so you can't actually use the MS SQL operator. You're going to need to use um, your own custom a Python connection here, so the MSC cooperators will not work. I've tried this many times. You, while you do need to install it, you can't actually use the operator. So again, this is like a freakish way of connecting to a database. Um, and then, so what you'll do here is you'll bring in your server, username, password. Um, just make sure you hard code all these variables. And then what we'll do is actually connect to the database. You'll use the PI ODBC connection. And then you'll use a Jinja template that says, hey, here's a driver, server, database, manually connects, adds all the trust certificate um, to kind of just create like a hook into the pi and the, to your MS SQL database. Um, then you can run your query. Um, so whatever you want to run within um, your connection. So you can 
database connection that I'm using this cursor, executing that query, um, and then printing that query result. Um, so it's, it's painful, um, but if you are using MS SQL, I mean, you can't really get around and you just straight up have to do. Um, so this is how you do it. Um, this is accurate as of one week ago when I with a colleague. Um, so I hope this works for you still. If it doesn't, please let me know in the comments. I'll update this video with a new and connect, corrected version of connecting. Um, and I hope this saves you a lot of time. Get a guy out.